I'm excited to be back. Obviously, he's, he's been mandatory challenged off the British title for a little while now, Andrew Robinson. And if I'm being honest, I didn't actually think I would end up fighting him. But it's a good thing I held on to the, the British title because I've had to fall back on it for the time being due to COVID and um, you know restrictions because I'm supposed to be fighting Demetrius Andrade. Even with this on, when you take it off, you've got bruises all over your stomach. Especially William Williams. It's going to be good and I think it's important for me to show that there are levels and I'm not British title level anymore. I feel like personally I'm, you know, I've, I've shot on quite a bit above that and I'm ready to go and win a world title now. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show the levels on Saturday. All the preparations being done, obviously this is Liam Williams' first fight since December. And it's Willie Hutchinson's second fight, you know, since last month when he, he demolished the game one round. Oh, you're pleased you're fighting on the same bill, lads. Of course we are, Sham. The uh, watching the same bill. Uh, I'm on the undercard of Liam Williams once again, um, and we're both fighting on Saturday night. Couldn't have picked anyone better to be on, uh, you know, on the same show and be on fight week, Sham. Exactly. Always a good laugh, always a good crack. Didn't you used to, you used to live together? Of course we did, you know what I mean? He used to be my wife. Took him on my way. <laughs> They've lived together, you know, when he first came up here, Will Hutchinson, you know, Liam was like his, his mum. Looked after him, cooked his food for him. And they get on well, and obviously they don't live together now. Liam's got his own place, uh, Willie's married and got his place with his wife. So, yeah, they're still great pals and they have, the, they have a good crack. It's always a lot better to have someone around you who's making weight than going through the same um, mental blocks then and you know whatever else because you know you just look alongside you and think come on it's not just me like we're both going through it and you just kind of help pull each other through so yeah it's good you know we've been we've both been through it many times now and uh, it's going to be a good week I'm, I'm excited a bit of Friday morning family Friday morning last bar summer fight this is it, Sham. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. I've had three slices of toast and jam this morning with a coffee. I'm feeling, I'm firing up all cylinders. I'm feeling unbelievable. It's the best I've ever felt. I'm ready to start challenging the titles. This is the time now. It's time to step on the gas and the hurricane's coming. It's hurricane season. I've been telling you. I've been telling you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Good, yeah. good to test yourself against someone like Willie because you know, obviously the lad's got potential to go all the way up. So it's good to jump in with lads like that and see where you're at. So uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it this morning. It's good to be back sparring. Uh, probably one of the best gyms in England as well, Dominic English gym. So yeah, it was, it was good. I mean, everyone at this gym trains to the full potential. They've got a great coach and Dominic. So um, so yeah, I'm sure they'll do the job on Saturday. I'm sure they'll smash it. <laughs> Yeah, Andrew Robinson is a tough kid, he's a tough character, so I'm going to be up for it and uh, you know, it'll be a good scrap because gonna, he's going to stand towards Sir William, I think, so let's just see that, how that comes out. <laughs> good woman trying to get a pair of jeans on, huh? Are you alright? The art of tying gloves, Carl. The I mean, slowest, he's, he's there, what, what inside? The worst trainer, the slowest glove tie, tire, but the best. Look, uh, quality doesn't come quick, Carl, is that? No, that's what I said. Can't, <laughs> rush, quality. can't rush quality, Sham. <laughs> Slow and steady. Perfect work for a perfect man. Yeah mate, smashed it this week, had a really good week, some good sparring. Just finished sparring there with somebody quite a lot heavier than me, 14 plus stone. Um, and I'm manoeuvring them and doing what I want and I'm feeling slick and strong. So um, look out Andrew Robinson because the machine is coming. They're in perfect shape, they've had a great camp, you know, we're just glad to get this one out of the way. 
and I think Willis then fighting again in December and hopefully Liam will be fighting in the new year uh, for the world title. So, you know, it's very important this weekend coming up that they, they perform well. Uh, they're making the weight fantastic, they're in great shape. As you've seen yourself over the weeks, the sparring, the pad work. Look, look, <laughs> get them body shots coming in, look. Ready? Yeah, straight right left up, here we go. Right come on. Ten seconds, come on. Right In these troubled times, they've, they've kept to the plan and you know hopefully it's gonna pay off. <laughs> Those two, you know, they're, they're laughing and they're joking, it's it's a good uh, atmosphere to be in. Listen, Sean, I've got that energy this morning. Listen, it's Tuesday, yeah? Fighting on Saturday. My muscles has got that energy, Sham. The world of energy! Sham! Sham! Sham, the energy I've got is, is through the roof. This is only Tuesday. Wait till Saturday. Whenever. When I'm in that ring. And I'm on! I'm on! I'm on! Young and fresh. Young and fresh. Is that you or Willie? Handsome, strong. So me. I'm <laughs> It's a great laugh and here. We're all happy. But we all got on and. Just keep pushing each other forward, but when it comes to fight night, we buckle down and we beat people up for a living. So it's a good laugh, isn't it? <laughs> they bounce off each other and they're both going through the same thing. They've been coming to the Galapad for weeks on end getting fed. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. What's the story with this? A halal breakfast, yeah? They see each other two or three times a day for breakfast, lunch and dinner at the Galapad. I'm doing the food. Uh, so we have a laugh, we catch up, we can gauge the moods through that camp, you know, how they're feeling, just by how they walk into the house when they're ready to eat. What's that? What's this power? They're always arguing who's got the bigger portion size. Who's got a yacht for nothing? It's, it's hysterical, it's like two kids at the dinner time table. Who's got a yacht for nothing? I've got three, you've got four. You've seen the stuff on Instagram, the meals that they're getting, and they're happy, you know, fighters. Um, what they like most about camp is the food. If the food's good, they can get through the hard work, you know, and they're cutting weight. It helps if the food's nice and, and they can drop weight while it's eating nice food. But obviously, they've got to limit the portions, you've got to, they've got to drop weight, you've got to cut the calories sometimes, but you've got to keep the food interesting. How's that, Liam? Good. Was it like that, Willie? <laughs> Get the win this weekend, smash this fella up, and on to the next one, December again. Um, yeah, so hopefully be out twice before Christmas, that would be nice. Show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all about that. And that's the thing, we'll all get paid. It's been a long time, you know, boxing's a, a spectator sport, and, you know, there's no crowds at the minute. It's difficult to put on shows, um, you've got the TV, but then you're only getting the work if you're a TV fighter, so... You know, it's, it's good that they're both on. Um, Liam can have a week off. Willie can have a week off. They'll be back in the gym because they'll be fighting again. Uh, and that's it. I've told them, look, tough times. You've got to take tough measures. You've got to be prepared because these chances, especially in these environments, only come round, you know, once in a while. Ideally, get past Robinson. Nice, good, explosive victory, which I think people are expecting anyway. Andrade next. Beat him. Possibly Mungia next. Um, there's a number of fighters lining up who's who's going to want it, you know. So um, becoming world champion comes with a lot of uh, people chasing you, and every, you know everybody wants what you've got. So, but I love that for me about getting the big fights.